Recently, myself and Jamie headed down to the Coombe. Uh, the Coombe is in Mosman Park, and when you park at the end of the street, you can enter the water quite easily, and there's a really cool pole trail that you can follow around, and it takes you all the way across to Glide Street. So uh, there's a couple of kilometers worth of circuit that you can run. We've got Jamie here uh, starting to uh, come down towards the line. Myself on my new Choptima or chest mounted Optima rebreather. And as soon as we get in, we're greeted with a seahorse on one of the poles. So again, once you park your car, enter the water, on the left hand side, you quickly come across the first poles. And we've got a little mud map here showing our first wreck, which is the eight meter wreck which is at the beginning of the pole trail. On the northwestern side, we've started a pole trail heading along the 14 to 10 meter mark, which goes all the way across to motorboat three. Jamie's tying off the initial tie off and we're following the poles down. Not too far from the first wreck, we come across the second wreck, which is the 13 meter wreck, which according to my computer is actually in 12 meters. The visibility is a lot better on the video than it is in reality. The lights are doing a good job at lighting it up. And if you have a look at those poles, you'll notice that there's slight angles. So where you've got multiple poles, it's an indication that there's a turn such as here. You can see that you've got the orange pole, the gray, and then another orange pole, indicating that you need to turn in that general direction to follow the pole trail. There's old railway sleepers every now and again, which were the old moorings. And the idea of this particular pole trail is to give those who are not decompression qualified the ability to run line for a long time practicing their skills in the river. Quick look at me and Jamie side by side swimming along. So on this particular dive, Jamie had two 12 litre cylinders uh, with 32 mix and two cylinders of 50 mix to do this entire dive. Uh, so we actually spent close to about two and a half hours underwater. Uh, I've got my rebreather on, so I'm not really limited by time. The poles run approximately two to three meters apart. Uh, we've tried to put the poles near spots such as the railway sleepers or items that are underwater with growth on there. Some of this footage is obviously sped up. No one swims quite that fast. Nice shot of Jamie from underneath, shooting across. And there's myself following the line as well. It's quite pretty looking at the marine life underwater. And it is also quite interesting to see how much silt is created by the crabs just moving around. On this particular spot, 11.3 meters, you'll see what looks like a T. This particular spot actually allows you to quickly shoot from 11 meters down to the deeper X. Um, so a little bit of this particular wreck, this is, the, this is the wreck that's about halfway between the Coombe and Motorboat 3. The map will be coming up shortly. Bit of marine life on there, and again, there's the T heading down. So now we're zooming in. We're currently at the 12 meter boat, which is about probably 300, 400 meters away from the comb. And we're now starting ahead down to the 19 meter barge. As we descend, you can see some of the older poles with a lot of growth and with the eddies through the river, there's a lot of current. So as we're going down, we've got Jamie dismounting one cylinder. So he's breathed that cylinder down as far as what he needs. We've tied off the line. He's clipped his cylinder to the line and we keep going. We're currently in about 18 meters of water here and we're 43 minutes into the dive. Now, you can see Jamie getting close to the mooring line. What we've ended up doing is retracting the line, removing some of the poles and relaying the line further away, or should I say relaying the poles further away from the moorings 
so that the mooring chain doesn't affect the poles. We're now heading down and getting close to the 19 metre wreck. So this is an old barge falling apart. Um, still a fair bit of life on there. First time I dived this would have been approximately 2002. And in actual fact, from the shallow wreck to the 19 and to the 22 metre wreck, a friend of mine, uh, Mark and myself, laid poles around 19 years ago, but those poles are well and truly gone. So from the 19 metre boat, we're now shooting off to the left uh, in a northerly direction, and we're going towards the yacht. You can see there's a fair bit of current going through there. It can be a bit of work fighting the current as you're trying to swim through. It's nice to actually swim through at the turn of the, oh, the turn of the tide. We can see we're now at the 60 minute mark and we're approaching the 19 metre yacht. A nice amount of marine life on there. Not a great deal of fish, but still it's an interesting hull to have a look at. By utilising the shallow wreck, shooting down to the 19 metre wreck and then coming across to, to this particular yacht, you're not going to rack up anywhere near as much deco as if you would going straight down to the 22 metre yacht. Again, the, so here we are, 62 minutes in. I must stress the visibility is a lot better on video than what it is in reality, especially when there's current flowing. So we we're getting close to our turn time. Jamie had a quick swim around the yacht. We've started retrieving the line. The line that we're currently using on this reel is 500 meters long. I've actually measured it out so I know how long it is. Now you can see that there's a fair bit of line on there so we haven't reached the 500 meter mark yet. We've reached, we've come back to the 19, oh sorry, to the 19 meter yacht, and we're now heading across to the 22 meter, and approximately two thirds of the way between the 19 and the 22 meter uh, wreck, we've actually run out of uh, line on our reel, and in a moment we're gonna have to tie off the reel and attach a new one. And off we go again. We've now gotten to the 22 meter wreck. So this is the deepest of the wrecks that are in the river. If you surface swim out to buoy 352 and descend and did a circular search, that's where you're going to find the 21 meter barge. At high tide, you will get 22, close to 23 metres, but that is about the, as deep as you're going to get through there. Quite a large structure. And hats off to those who actually laid the poles from the coom going through depth to get to the 22 metre wreck. If you're entering from the coom to get to the 22 metre wreck, you're not gonna get down there and back without incurring deco on air or even on a 32 mix. So you've really got to watch what you're doing. At this point in time, we're trying to find a tie off and you can see that uh, with the loose wood, not everything's worth tying off to. We're starting to reel back in. So we're leaving the 22 metre wreck. We're heading back towards the 19 metre wreck at the moment. Jamie's retrieving the line and we're almost back to our first line. Again, knowing how much is on each line gives you an indication of how far you're traveling underwater. To get from the coom through to Glide Street, if you actually want to go all the way to the exit, as in the shore, you need about 1.2 kilometers worth of line all told. That little method there that you just saw if you've got a nice clean pole, as the person's reeling in, they can just gently lift the line up and reel in. Jamie's about to retrieve his cylinder, which was left between the 19 meter and the 12 meter boat. And we're heading back up to the 12 meter boat. Again, there's the T section. 
The visibility up to and including about the 13, 14 metre mark is always a lot better. Once you hit the 15, 16, it tends to get dark very, very quickly. And the deeper you go, the more, the, uh, the more you'll notice the eddies. Heading off in that direction, you can hit motorboat one and motorboat two, as well as motorboat three, of course. So there we are, 98 minutes into the dive, sitting in about 11 metres of water. And we've got a lovely little cuttlefish that's come out to play. So now I'm running a little bit of line and we're heading out towards motorboat three. So looking at that map, motorboat three is about 650 metres away from the coom. So it's a fair swim. So again, on the computer there, you can see we're at the two hour mark. We've tied off to the wreck. If you were to surface at this particular wreck, you would be about 100, 150 metres away from the canoe shed at Mosman Park. There's quite a bit of marine life on this particular barge. And from motorboat three, you can actually shoot off, off to motorboat two now. Uh, there's a pole trail laid out, which joins up, and then you can follow it out to motorboat one and swim to shore, which you would end up pretty much exactly at the end of Glide Street. Nice Gurnard through there. Quite a lot of leather jackets around there as well. So this is quite a long swim, but I quite enjoy doing it. It's also a great way to do a scooter run. On the way back, we were greeted with a few seahorses. Again, if you're running line, be mindful. You know, there are posts, there are poles in the river, but those poles become the home for this type of marine life. So we have to be mindful of what we're doing down there. So if you're going to run some line down at the river, again, you can enter from the coom, you can enter from the canoe club or the canoe shed, or at the end of Glide Street. In either way, you can start on the pole trail, run line, you can take the deep path, you can take the shallow path, the whole idea is have fun and get some skills under your belt. And thanks for everybody who's been involved with running poles in the river. <music>